Hello, I'm Professor Marcella Oliva at Los Angeles Trade Technical College, and I'm going to show you how to analyze the geometry of a building in AutoCAD architecture. Geometry is extremely important in architecture. You just Google geometry architecture, and you can see how through the ages, geometry has helped us organize and define space to bring order and proportion. Some of these geometries have been called sacred geometries of geometries of all that can be found back in many um, studies of architecture through the centuries. Currently at the Popadun Center, recently there was a presentation all about geometry. Most of architects utilize this geometry intuitively as they organize their space. There's a book called Presence of Architecture where you actually learn how to analyze a building by the circulation, how do you move through the space, how the light penetrates your space, what's the relationship of a section to a plan, and most importantly, what we're focusing right now is the geometry of a building. This is our all components of analyzing a building. This is something you gotta do a lot in architecture, analyze a building, analyze a city, analyze a campus. So a very quick uh, exercise will be to actually just print screen this image and open AutoCAD and paste it, right click on the, the clipboard and you can immediately specify the insertion point right here and you can see it is pretty big and this is Alba Alto's uh, church and you probably are familiar with this geometry, the square and the circle and nothing else geometry is a relationship of the shapes. You have a square, right, and you know it's a square because you have the polar snap that is telling you that it's a square there with a green line. And then the next relationship is going to be when you actually, let's divide the circle in half with a diagonal. Let's call it diagonal. And let's divide the square again in half, right? And just basically square is divided in half and it has the diagonal. But then the next is going to be you're going to select a circle and then this circle can basically have the center of the circle anywhere you want. You know, it could be far away, in the middle, but there's this special geometry, and geometry is a relationship of the shapes, where you can start the center in the middle, and then you extend the radius, so right now we're drawing the radius of the circle to extend to the end of that square. Now notice here it's called the end point. This is what makes AutoCAD smart. Your cursor is actually telling you when you reach the end point of the square. And that simple is a relationship of a square and a circle. Now usually you don't see people drawing the square. You only see the arch like you see it right here. People just draw the arch, but it's actually a circle. And then the next step is where you actually utilize that relationship and you create a rectangle that starts at the tangent of that circle, you extend it to the end of the square, and that's what is called the golden mean or the golden section. Thank you.